In this video, we create a bootable USB Windows installer without additional software. Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. This video is part of a trilogy, each showcasing a different method by which we can convert a downloaded Windows 10 installer ISO into a bootable USB drive. This isn't necessarily something we would need to do as a standalone task, because the Windows Media Creation tool offers USB installer creation as its end product, and is the simplest method to achieve our aim. However, as we've published a number of tutorials in which we install preview versions of Windows, which are typically supplied in ISO format only, we need to bridge the gap between ISO and USB in these instances. In our previous tutorial, we achieved this with the aid of the remarkably simple and free Windows USB DVD download tool, and in the concluding chapter, we'll look at the similar, although more fully featured Rufus. In this video, we go entirely toolless and somewhat manual as we create the installer unaided. We begin by inserting our blank USB drive, and once again, we'll need a disk of 8GB or larger. Here we're using a 64GB drive, which is presently much greater than we need. We also have a copy of Windows 10 in ISO format, and in this instance, it's the Spring 2004 preview version which we downloaded in a previous tutorial. We'll need the contents of this file later in the tutorial, but first, we need to prepare the USB drive. From the desktop, we click the start button, and type cmd to search for the command prompt, selecting the option to run as administrator. Where user account control appears to query our selection, we click yes to confirm. The command prompt appears, and we type disk part, and hit enter to run the disk part utility. It should be noted that accuracy of spelling is vital in each of the typed commands which follow, and, as always, we'll reproduce them in the written description for your reference. With disk part now running, we type list disk, hitting enter after this, and each subsequent command. This generates a list of all the writable disks physically attached to our system, and at the very least, we would expect to see our primary hard drive and the USB device we've attached, and possibly even more. We need to work out which disk is which, using their total size and free space as a guide, and we can refer back to this PC if we need assistance here. The disks are numbered automatically, and we've identified disk 1 as our USB drive. We therefore type select disk 1, and are advised that disk 1 has been selected. We type clean, and are soon advised that the disk has been cleaned. We now need to add a primary partition to the blank disk, typing create partition primary. The primary partition is then created, and next we need to select it, by typing select partition 1. With the partition selected, we now make it active by typing active, and the partition is marked as active. We type format, fs equals ntfs quick, which will format the disk using the ntfs filing system. Adding the argument quick will use quick rather than full formatting, which will save a considerable amount of time. Formatting begins, and will be advised upon completion. We can now use the close icon to exit command prompt. Returning to this PC, we can now see that we have a blank USB device awaiting content, so we navigate to our downloads folder, where we find the insider preview installation ISO. We double click to open it, revealing its content. We now need to simply copy these files to our prepared USB drive. We can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl A to select all files, and then either press Ctrl C to copy them, or right click and select the option to copy. We then navigate to our prepared USB drive, in our case labelled E, and either right click before selecting the option to paste, or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl V. With the files copied, all that remains is to safely eject the USB drive, by clicking to reveal its taskbar icon, then clicking upon that icon, selecting the option to eject our E drive. We can now physically remove the USB stick, and deploy it to install or update Windows on any other machine. Be sure to check out our back catalogue, and subscribe for future projects. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.